Hello people and welcome to the One Army monthly news where we are reporting from our projects tackling global problems. And this month is actually a very special month, month for us because a lot of our core team members from the One Army projects are meeting here in Portugal. So as a start, I will just give you a little tour of the Project Camp land, how it is right now, and uh, yeah, give you a little introduction into the people who are here at the moment. So let's go. So at the moment we are here this is the entrance of where you come up from the, on the land. And this is the future working space or a future working space on Project Camp, which we have been clearing up um, the last couple of days with all the people who are here. So now maybe you wanna have a quick look inside. Uh, inside it still looks pretty rough, but we started on the outside to even access it. So here you can see the space from the front and um, looking quite clean already. Here you see Dave, you all know that guy. He started the project and is the reason why most of us even found our way here. Trying to cut the trees <laughs> from, yeah, and clear up the space. It's a little bit tricky because there's a lot of thorns. Not very nice. So here we have Julie. Hello, Julie. <laughs> Trying to fight with the thorns. <laughs> Julie joined for the Project Plastic version 4 and is still tackling the plastic pollution problem <laughs> with workshops and all sorts of stuff um, in Spain mainly. Uh, and right now, yeah, trying to get rid of all the thorns. Um, so yeah, here, workspace. Here we have Joseph coming. You probably also know that guy. Joined in Project Plastic version 4 and is still driving the precious plastic project forward. Just doing some business here. Some doing some business, I guess. What are you doing now? Clearing up bushes. Clearing this wall of thorns. Clearing <laughs> the wall of thorns. Yeah, that's a big, big issue here. But we're tackling it. Okay, so let's go to the other corners of the land. Here it goes up to the base camp, but I will actually take you up here first. Because this is big open field, still not doing anything with this because there's other things to do. But um, here's the kitchen, which was cleared up recently. Some dark spaces in there. We also liked to meet here or eat sometimes because it can get very hot. And this is a shady place, so we had some meetings and food here. Now we go to the base camp. All right, so here's the base camp. Here we are parking all our houses. So luckily all of a lot of our team members slowly started converting into a tiny house on wheels which comes in very handy now because um, we all could just take our houses here and have something to live because there's nothing else and this is also the new compost toilet with I'll quickly show you um, built by the first project camp helper Ian with a precious plastic toilet seat. Ta -da 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 -da. So here we have the workspace container and what's happening here is uh, Michael who actually developed the version 4 sheet press but now he's jumping on hay and clay, hay and clay, to produce material for the pizza oven. And this is Malte who is leading the pizza oven development. Um, and you can also see here Carolina and Adriano, who are at the moment building the frame for the pizza oven. 
right? And yeah. Carolina both actually joined in version 4 and are now still involved in precious plastic and uh, fair enough, their own precious plastic um, workspace. So that'll be the frame of uh, the pizza oven. Here's you. Um, and Nico. It's a little bit loud, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Mix, mixing the clay for the pizza oven. And Hugh is actually <laughs> joined for version 4, was involved in Precious Plastic Monash before and is now leading our Precious Plastic communication team. So, and uh, here we have our clay production. This will be the material for the pizza oven too. Yeah. This is Yama, our doggo. Hello Yama. <laughs> Here we have Jan, uh, who is also joined for Precious Plastic version 4, did a lot of Precious Plastic stuff before that and is now hmm, head of engineering, something like that, but also very much involved in the Precious Plastic team. And then, let's see, we have Alicia, Hello. the main person in fixing fashion, um, the project tackling fixing or trying to fix fashion. <laughs> And uh, yeah, now she's actually probably preparing for dinner, right? And still very much involved. And here we have Rita. You've seen Rita in some of the Project Camp update videos. So she's uh, mm -hmm. together with Dave, one of the main, main people living here in Project Camp, um, trying to make this space a livable space for every future helper to come. And uh, yeah, the ladies are making beautiful food for beautiful people. <laughs> um, who else do we have? Welcome to my house. Yeah, so internally, I would say this was the main thing that happened this month. Our team coming together and reflecting and planning ahead for the projects. And with Corona, we hadn't seen each other for a long time and a lot of things happened in the meantime. And even though we were connected online, there was a lot of topics which had to be discussed more in depth. So besides using all the people power and getting a lot of things done on the land, like cleaning up the big workspace, building the big pizza oven, but also the compost toilet with precious plastic toilet seats, which is pretty cool, making a new nice path to the creek and building a shower for more privacy. We spent about one week from morning to evening talking and brainstorming until our brains were smoking about all the topics around the One Army organization and its projects Fixing Fashion, Project Camp and Precious Plastic. The main outcome of, of these meetings was to focus. Um, we tend to try to do a lot of things at the same time which often results in a lot of open construction sites and that way we, op we also push a lot of things forward but it often results into an out outcome which is more kind of let's say sketchy and basic with a lot of space for improvement and often we're not really satisfied with the quality we are actually de delivering to the world and to the community. So here a little forecast. Precious Plastic will continue full steam with a dedicated team of six aiming to establish an engine to run the projects, the platforms, the communications and um, also the work with and for the community. And with this comes um, will come a new structure and also strengthening the strategy with the focus on making it financially sustainable and then grow the team and being able to reinvest the profit into the precious plastic universe. There's still some things to figure out for the structure, but what uh, we can definitely say already is that these will be the core people pushing it forward. And this guy, Joseph, took on the slightly crazy task to take the lead and steer the ship. Dave, together with Rita, will really focus on Project Camp, probably working in seasons so that summer will be the time for big developments and pushing the bigger projects, while in winter there will be time to, um, for maintaining and um, documenting everything and planning for the next season. For fixing fashion, we'll give it the time it needs and let it grow organically. 
And Alicia is also working on a new set of videos. So let us know in the Discord channel if there is any specific um, clothing repair techniques or upgrades you would like to have documented or, um, or have the tutorial for. So now to the last major outcome of this meetup, and you've probably seen it in the title, but this is the last monthly news for now. So why is that? Um, you might have noticed in previous monthly news that the question of whether or how to continue the monthly news has been on our minds for quite a, quite a while now. They started as a way to update the patrons, you guys. So one video each month about what's been going on easy but it does take quite some resources um, especially with growing projects to do these videos each month plus in the meantime we actually added um, a couple more channels where updates can be shared so there's new websites there's the social media there's discord a very active patreon now and not to forget also a whole new youtube channel with weekly updates about project camp so a bit overkill maybe and especially as we saw views and engagement engagement reducing quite a lot um, yeah it became kind of a wait for us to do those videos especially between all the other things we are working on that being said we do like to have this channel to talk to you guys the community and um, yeah so we honestly don't know if it makes sense and what's the best thing here so we figured let's pause it, see how we all feel with it, um, if maybe the other channels are enough or if you guys will miss it a lot. Um, and then after some time we can uh, reflect and see what makes sense to continue or and how to continue or if this was actually the last, last monthly news. So to make sure that you know where to find your updates, here a little overview. So there's a One Army Patreon and this is probably the coolest and closest way to get your updates with regular um, updates about all projects, um, early access content, interactive posts and uh, behind the scenes um, content as well. And with only one euro a month or more if you want, um, you can really become part of this global army and really help pushing those projects further. Then there is a One Army website. Here we'll share the major updates about all projects in form of video and articles. Then there's also the One Army newsletter we're sending out every three months with a real good, really good overview of all the things which have been going on in the projects, major but also smaller things. So this is really to um, give a good summary of the period of three months. So now if you're more into a specific project, um, Precious Plastic has the online platforms like um, website, community platform and bazaar. Um, the social media with Instagram and Facebook and the YouTube channel of One Army where we for now This is the place where also the precious plastic videos go. It might change But this is the place where you will get the updates for sure Project Camp also has the website and link to it the Academy and Instagram, but the main place to get your updates here I would say is the YouTube channel of Project Camp and Fixing Fashion has also the website and Instagram and videos for now will also go on the YouTube channel. Also here it might maybe get its own channel, but for now it will be on the One Army channel. So on the One Army YouTube channel, you will find the updates for the other projects too. And then bringing all these projects together again, we have the One Army Discord. So there's where the community meets for each of the projects. You can exchange and meet the people who are into those projects, ask questions and also get announcements um, of new videos or other updates um, that are happening. We'll put all the links and an overview here in the description. I hope I didn't forget anything, but I guess you're clever um, you'll find your ways. So yeah, that's it for now. I guess see you around, especially on Patreon and Discord. And again, thank you so much for all the wonderful people who support and drive the projects further. We would not be much without you. So thank you and ciao.